What's up everyone? Today we are making a special video in Minecraft. It's something a lot of you guys wanted me to do and I finally decided to do it on last night's stream. So lately, all my streams, I've been getting a lot of requests to play Minecraft at 3 a.m. So at first I thought these requests were a bit random and strange until I decided to look online. So from what I could find, there are apparently strange things that happen in Minecraft Pocket Edition when you play it at 3 a.m. I even found a seed you're supposed to use. The seed is 666 and that's it. Now I did a little bit of research and I found some information about the time and the seed that might be important. Apparently 3 a.m. is known as the witching hour. This is a time at which creatures like witches, demons and ghosts are at their most powerful, according to what I found online. And of course the seed speaks for itself, 666 is known as the number of the devil. Now according to the information I found about Minecraft and 3am and the seed, apparently you'll find crosses dug into your world and according to the rumors, these have something to do with Null getting summoned. Now Null is another legend in Minecraft, it's a long story, I'll probably get to it in another video. So there's been a lot of people that have been trying this out. But we are of course gonna take it to the next level. We aren't just gonna be playing Minecraft at 3 a.m. on the 666 seed. We'll be playing it on Friday the 13th. Alright boys, here we go, it's 2 past 3 a.m., Friday the 13th, I'm supposed to get up in like 4 hours, but I'm doing this stuff, let's see if we'll find anything. Alright, here we go, we spawned near a desert, we were on a plains biome. Seems to be a pretty big mountain over here. So first off, let's not waste any time, let's get some wood. I think we should actually get up on the mountain first, see if there's anything interesting around here. That would be easier to do if we have a little vantage point, so let's see how high this mountain is. Should be able to climb it pretty quickly. Oh, this is actually really interesting. Look at this place. Got a nice field, some streaming water. I think this is a pretty nice place to build a base. Look around here. Oh, looks like there's some kind of temple over there. We found some sheep. Those are important. Let's let's make a little crafting table over here. Just temporarily. <laughs> see, we've been here for a while. Let's see where the sun is. The sun it's about the middle of the day. I'm not sure. I haven't played a lot of uh of Minecraft other than the regular PC version but it seems like time moves a lot slower here so we got we got some food we got some wood We're gonna make a bed so we should be okay for now one of the things that's missing at the moment is some coal I'm gonna go around keep my eyes open for some coal this is a big mountain there should be some coal around here I bet oh here we go that's some coal right here Here we go. This should be enough for now. Take this crafting table with us again. See, I'm gonna look around here. That's an interesting looking cloud. Yeah, 
If there's anything strange with this seed, I bet it's around here somewhere. I'm gonna make a base at the base of the mountain. I think this would be a good place. Find a flat area. Like this one over here. Oh. That's interesting what just happened. That's raw meat. Oh, that's creepy. That's actually really creepy. What's going on here? They're all coming out of this hole. Wait. Holy crap. What is this? This has never happened before. Is there I'm guessing there's like a spawner over there. I'm gonna check it out. Oh no, we're hungry. We, we really need some food. And it's getting dark. Let's light this place up a little bit. There's actually a creeper over there. I think skeleton. If I saw that correctly. There we go. Let's get this food real quick. Actually gonna check out that hole right now. See if we remember where it was. Just follow the trail of rotten meat. Looks like a regular cave. There's a dungeon. That's strange. They all came came out at the same time. It's happening again. Because there's a dungeon right at the spawn. I wonder what else we can find around here. Should probably make a bed. We're gonna go to bed. And explore some more during the day. It should be safer then. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. Another night, another day. Let's not get involved with any of these mobs. I wanna look around this mountain, see if there's anything weird. We already know there's a dungeon right there near the spawn. Just a really nice cave down here this is a pretty cool seed i'll be honest with you guys i haven't found anything st well strange yet other than the dungeon but that that's not really strange it's just rare i guess like there's supposed to be a crosses in the world that would suggest there's some kind of entity or some kind of well a an entity like entity 303 or even null in the game a bunch of caves we can explore I'll be honest with you guys, so far, I haven't really found anything strange, at least not yet. But I know patience is key, so I'm not just gonna say that it's not real after playing for, what is it, less than an hour. There's some floating blocks around here. It's unusual, I guess, but it's not impossible. So uh, some kind of lava waterfall over here. Let's check it out. Next step should probably be visiting all the caves, even though I only have some wood. So I believe this is the other side of the mountain. This lava over here. Hmm. 
interesting. I'm not sure if we should go away from this mountain, because we could explore the desert too. But for now I want to stick close to the mountain, explore all these caves first. Actually, let's check out the lava over here. I think this, this might have actually been a better place for a base, but our base is pretty small, so we can still switch around this. Look at all the holes in here. There's a hole in there, in here, all in the mountain. Even some... Did I miss any coming up here? See, just lavas over here. Don't see any holes over here. Um... There's moss, moss stone, moss cobblestone. Maybe that's... Wait, let me make sure the lava is gone. I think there might be a dungeon here. That's really interesting. We have a dungeon right around the mountain. And there's another one right here. Let's dig into it. Oh. There we go. I don't hear any mobs though, so that's a bit strange. Where's the dungeon? Let me, let me... Let's try this. There's no dungeon. Is this normal? Is... No way. It's a cross. Is this maybe a glitch? Is this a feature I didn't know about? Or could this actually be true? I, do, I, I don't want to find out right now. I'm, you know what? I've been playing long enough. I think we should keep it this way for now. I'm going to go to sleep and we'll see. We'll see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section. You never know. It might be a dead end or something like that. Okay, all right. What is up everyone, Dark here with another video in Minecraft once again. This is part 2 of my 3AM challenge. And it's been a while since we visited this world, so I think a recap is kind of needed. So for the people that didn't see the previous video, what happened was I started a game on this seed and I did some exploring and this is what I found. A cross made of cobblestone and it's not a dungeon, it's either a glitch or... Well, other than that I'm not really sure what it could be. But yeah, in this, uh, in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to explore more of this mountain. Because we did that on a previous episode, but I didn't really go very in-depth. I just walked around it. So that's what we're going to be doing this video. I think we might even move our base over here. Because I want to keep my eyes on this cross over here. So let's see if I can remember where our current base is. So if I remember correctly, it should be somewhere at the other side of this mountain. really dark right now but I don't really see any mobs so I think we should be safe for now we also need some more food because right now we only have two raw pork chops and oh there we go got a zombie right here luckily we are kind of prepared and he st didn't stand a chance 
There we go. Okay, the sun is just starting to come up, so it's uh, really early right now. I think it would be a good thing if we did some hunting while we're on the way to the other base. I believe I saw two desert temples. Oh, there we go. There's one right there. And if I'm not mistaken, there should be uh, there should be one around there somewhere. I think if we're done exploring this mountain, because we're gonna keep our investigation focused around here, but once once I think we've done a, we've done enough investigating around here, we're gonna move on to the desert and to all the other biomes that we can find. See, I'm really not sure where my house is. So I hope I didn't I hope I didn't lose it. Oh there we go. Okay, so here's my house. Not sure if I put the furnace in there, I hope so. Yes, awesome. Okay, we've got some mouton here. I'm gonna start with this raw beef. There we go. Alright, so I got a full stomach again. See, actually, what we do need is some more wood, because we don't have any. Uh, let's see. Gonna make a stick. I'm gonna make an axe. Probably a... Mm, maybe a pickaxe. There we go. Let's get rid of all these trees around the base. Let's stockpile some wood. See how much time we have left. It's the middle of the day right now, so we are pretty... Productive today. Unlike the usual days. Oh, right, I remember. That's uh, a dungeon somewhere around here. I think you guys can hear all the zombies. Oh, there we go. So check this out. There's a freaking zombie spawner right here. I think I'm gonna save it. Uh, probably gonna make a mob grinder or something like that. But, I mean, check this out. Free XP. There we go. Check all this free XP out, guys. But I'm gonna have to make it safer somehow. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna put down a fence. Oh! Okay, that's not safe at all. You know, actually, what I could do, since it's... It's really near the, near the surface. I could just dig a hole. And the zombies are gonna die as soon as they spawn. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna leave it at that for now because it's really not safe. We aren't well prepared for it at all. We're not gonna go into the desert just yet, even though this desert temple is really close and it's really tempting. But I think we need better equipment first. All right, let's put this all in the furnace. Oh, we're running out of. Coal, actually okay, we don't have any chests so let's make two chests right now all right it's dark right now let's go to sleep a new day new opportunities but first off we're gonna get some coal See, I'm pretty sure I saw some coal on this mountain. Oh, it's all the way up there. Oh, there's actually some right here. Near this cave. Okay, so we're not gonna explore the cave right now. We're gonna do some surveying, but uh, I'm guessing this will be one of the caves that we're gonna explore. One of the many, I'm hoping. There we go. Let's see, so we haven't really seen anything strange uh, in this video. At least nothing I've noticed, maybe I'll notice something during editing. Like I sometimes do. I'm gonna get up on this call. But uh, I'm, I haven't really been paying much attention now that I think about it. See, 
yeah, I think we got a nice batch. We got 30 plus uh, some of the ones I dropped. So yeah, as soon as this is stored, we're gonna check if there's some caves over here. Because this is pretty close to our house. So if we find anything useful, we can just head back here and store it real quick. Let's see, we're gonna put the... Actually, we're gonna use... Um, we're gonna use some of the coal to make some torches. Because we have, like, none right now. There we go. That's a lot of torches, actually. Let's see if there's any caves around here. Might be some hidden ones. Interesting. You'd think there would be some mobs around here. Let's see. Yes, I am playing on normal difficulty. Just had to double check. Because right now it feels like the only mobs I've really seen are the zombies in the dungeon. I haven't really seen any skeletons. Oh, speak of the devil. Sounds like there's something behind here. It sounds really close actually. Might be above me. You know what, it is getting dark already. We haven't explored a single cave, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save this for now. I'm gonna make sure I mark it with some torches. Because this is actually interesting. There's some kind of spider nest around here somewhere, and I do want to find it. Let's head back to the base. Or actually Maybe an even better idea. Let's let's just explore one cave. Uh, there was a cave pretty close to my base. Let's see, I thought it was right here, but I guess... Oh, no. It's actually right here. Alright, so... Let's make sure these zombies are dead before I go in here, because I don't want to get stuck with them. But you never know, it might be a dead end or something like that. Okay, alright. Oh, oh no, it's not a dead. Oh, no, it's not a dead end. You never know, it might be a dead end or something like that. Okay, alright. Alright, so the first cave and we already found something pretty interesting. Alright, so once again everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. And for watching previously on Dark Corners. Let's head back to the base. Or actually... Maybe an even better idea. Let's let's just explore one cave. Uh, there was a cave pretty close to my base. Right, let's see. I thought it was right here, but I guess... Oh, no. It's actually right here. But you never know. It might be a dead end or something like that. Okay, alright. Oh. Oh no, it's not a dead end. Oh, no, it's not a dead end at all. But you never know, it might be a dead end or something like that. Okay, alright. What is up everyone, welcome to Dark Corners, I'm your host Dark and in this video we will continue our adventure in Minecraft at 3 am. I'll probably be a bit less loud than I normally am in my videos because I don't want to wake anyone up. It's been a while since we visited this world, if you haven't seen the previous two episodes 
it will be in the description or you can check the information button at the top right in the last video we actually encountered null but i got a lot of complaints about be people not being able to see it so i'm gonna show you guys right now with the, the brightness enhanced that's pretty creepy right I believe that cave was somewhere around here we actually haven't really explored this map a lot even though we made two videos about it, we haven't really explored it much. I mean, there's like three different temples around here. There's one over there. Uh, there's one that way, I believe. Even got horses. I haven't seen the horses before. And since we are in survival, I'm not in creative mode in this video, in this series. We actually don't have very nice gear. So I think we're gonna... Gonna get some wood. We're gonna do some mining. So we have a nice, nice little base that we can return to after every adventure. Oh, so we're gonna get some wood. We're gonna expand our base a little bit. We're gonna get some food too, just so we uh, we don't starve. I usually have a lot of problems with food. I'm not really good at keeping food. I don't have a sword with me. All these trees here have to go. And for the people wondering, I am playing on the Windows 10 edition of Minecraft. It's identical to the Minecraft Pocket Edition. Uh, in fact, you can actually play. Uh, if you have the Minecraft Pocket Edition, you can play with people on Windows 10 and vice versa. I actually invested in a tablet so we can actually make Minecraft Pocket Edition videos now. So if you have any ideas what you would like to see in Minecraft Pocket Edition, let me know in the comments section and who knows, maybe I'll, uh, I'll start a new series on the Pocket Edition. Oops. See, we're just gonna clear out this tree and then I think we should have enough wood. I think we're gonna investigate that temple first. And uh, I believe we're gonna, we're gonna go back to the cave in which we saw Null, see if we find anything strange there. Not sure why I'm using a crafting table for this. Oh, we have a bunch of wood. I completely forgot about this. Yeah. You can never have too much wood, in my opinion. A very small base we have here, but it, it's cozy. So I'm not complaining yet. There we go where the sun is at about a little bit after the middle of the day See what we're gonna do we're gonna make um gonna make some gear at least let's clear out our uh, inventory a little bit so i need the pickaxes i need the swords don't really need this I think, I think that should be enough stuff. It's actually getting dark right now. I don't think it's a smart idea to leave at night right now. Because we're underprepared. But I think in, a f in the future, maybe in this episode, maybe in the next episode, I don't know yet. I think it would be smart to explore this seed at night see if anything's different for now we're just gonna enjoy the sun going down actually notice there aren't any mobs let me check i am in revival there should be mobs around here there we go we hear him Right under me. This is where the spawner is for the people wondering. Free XP. I can just grind this place. You gotta make sure I don't get swarmed. I think that's enough XP for the night. We're gonna go ahead and sleep. We'll start exploring in the morning. A 
Alright, so it's a new day. The first stop is going to be the temple over there. It will be the first time we're leaving this biome. I'm wondering what we'll find in the desert. It's actually a pretty good place to have a horse since this area is completely flat. We could travel from our base all the way to the desert easily on a horse. So I think uh, a saddle will be nice. I hope we'll find one. I think it's possible to find saddles uh, in temples. Looks like there's a cave. Might as well get this iron while we're here. Since our resources are a bit... Um, well, they're not good. I haven't really mined a lot in this world, so... I'm gonna take anything I can get. Okay, let's hope this works the same way as it does in regular Minecraft. As long as I don't step on the pressure plate, I should be fine. Make sure we can see where we're going. The TNT is right under here. Uh, a golden apple. I'll take that. Not a golden apple. A book. We got some gold. I haven't really thought about uh, making a Herobrine shrine in this world yet. Who knows, maybe we'll get a little bit of a Null versus Herobrine action if we do that. Who do you guys think would win? Null or Herobrine? And why would they win? Let me know in the comments section. Personally, mm, who would win? I'm actually not sure what the, what the strengths of Null or Herobrine are compared to each other. Aren't they like, um, don't they have kind of the same power levels? <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it, power levels. But I might be wrong. What do you guys think? Why would Null win or why would Herobrine win, in your opinion? See, since the last few videos, there have been people noticing crosses on the map that I haven't seen in the videos. I'm going to keep my eyes open for any new crosses I see. There's another temple over there somewhere that we're gonna head to now. Let's see, I think I lost it. It should be somewhere around here. I can faintly remember seeing it in the distance. If we go up there. We'll be able to see it better with the, on, on top of the hill. Interesting. Am I misremembering? Wait, this is... What's this? Oh, that scared me a little. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that in the video. And it sounded like someone put the block down behind me. Wait, this is. What's this? Oh, this is the temple. Strange. I don't think this is the one I saw. But don't tell me there's another spawner right here. I'm gonna check it out. Let's see what would be the safest way in here. Don't wanna die. We're just gonna. I'm gonna go down there yet until I know how many zombies there are. We make a way out right here. Where is this entrance? I actually got hit. Let's see. Go down here. Slid up so we can see where we're going. You know what Mojang should do? They should add an update. Oh snap! This leads to a 
but that's pretty cool. Anyways, as I was saying, what Mojang should do, they should, uh, when they put out an update, they should secretly add new traps to these temples, but not tell anyone. And people would think, ha, we got the pressure plate, we're safe now. And suddenly they, a bunch of arrows rain down on them. And take the ammo, oh, saddle, awesome. And tame a horse now. Bunch of gold. I'll take that. You should remember there's a cave in here. Really don't want to explore it right now. I'm, I'm like 100% sure I'll get lost. I got a bunch of loot on me, so we're not going to be doing that. Not yet, I should say. Alright, now the hardest part. Remembering the way home. I'm not good with directions, I'm not good with maps, guys. Not in real life and also not in Minecraft. If you guys have ever seen me stream, I get lost a lot. You can see the temple over there, so my house is over there. See? Told you guys, I never get lost. And if I remember correctly, the cave where I saw no is somewhere I'm... I want to say over here, but it might be around the corner there. Go ahead and tame our first horse. There we go, let's put the armor on you and let's give you a nice little saddle. And now we have a horse. See, almost a full day spent exploring and we only explored two temples. Uh, let's put our loot in here. One's going down, can I sleep already? Not yet. And look around here until the sun is completely down. And then we're gonna find the cave in which I saw no. Might as well get some breakfast. I think this is the fifth day on the seed, fourth or fifth day, we'll have to count later. We're not gonna waste any time, we're gonna go straight this way. And find the Null Cave, that's what we're gonna be calling it from now on, the Null Cave. It has a creepy ring to it. There it is. So in the video, uh, I'm not sure if I remember correctly, I believe Null was standing around here, might have been here in the corner. I'll probably be showing a replay right about now. But I didn't notice Null was standing there until I was editing the video because um, you guys might notice on my live streams, whenever I'm in a dark cave, it's really hard to see anything. Usually in videos, I enhance the brightness. Whenever I'm in caves, that's when I noticed black figure standing here. But turns out if you enhance the brightness on your video, the brightness might still be a little lower on YouTube itself. So a lot of people who are uh, primarily watching on their phones, I believe, they couldn't see null. All they saw was a black screen with a random circle in the middle that I put there and they were like, dark, but what the hell are you doing? It's just a dark screen. What are you pointing at? So I wish I had checked the video after I uploaded it. So that uh, that's my bad. Sorry guys. But luckily now you can see it in its full bright glory. Let's see, we're going we're going straight down here, but I'm not really checking my corners. Don't really learn from my mistakes. Last time Noel was in a corner. Now I'm not even checking my corners. Where everything is lit up. You never know what you'll find. Probably get some ladders down here because it, it's dangerous. 
Luckily I brought some cobblestone with me. I might as well get the skull while I'm at it. Once again, I'm gonna take whatever I can get. Don't think I've been down here because there's no torches. Let's just dig straight down. I don't care about the rules of Minecraft. Just hoping I won't get lost. Because I'm gonna put a bunch of torches here. Oh, it's actually a dead end. Well, that's time wasted. We're gonna keep digging, just in case. I made an axe, I made a sword, I made a pickaxe, but I forgot uh, a, a shovel. You never notice you're missing a shovel until you need one. Digging in every direction, just in case there's a cave somewhere. Oh, that scared me a little bit. Not sure if you guys can hear that in the video. And it sounded like someone put the block down behind me. Kind of creepy. I don't see anything different around here, so I'm going to assume I just misheard something. I'm gonna be checking the video later just in case. And shake the feeling that I'm not alone here. But it might be my paranoia acting up again. I could really use a shovel. I'm just gonna go back to the base. Get a shovel. Maybe make um Yeah, I should probably make some ladders while I'm at it. Go straight up here. I'm really lucky there was no gravel up there, or else I would have choked. Go. We're gonna head back to the base, we're gonna get a shovel, and we're gonna make some ladders. Maybe it was a mob I heard back there. So I'm, I'm really sure it sounded like a block, so it's either a mob, or it was me, and I don't even want to imagine what else it could have been. I'm pretty sure you guys are already imagining it. Really happy to see some sunlight. Oh. 